Al here again. This time around, I'm actually going to start a series of YouTube tags that are older because one, it goes with my old little nostalgic theme. And two, because I'm completely out of non-expensive doable ideas. So I found this one tag, the questions nobody asks you tag. I have loaded all the questions in the description of my video, so if you want to do this tag yourself, which is kind of expired right now, or you want to answer any of them in my comments, please do that. I would love to know the you behind the username. Since there are about 40 questions, I am going to do my very best to keep it interesting and speedy so that way you don't get sleepy. Question number one, do you go by a nickname? Uh, no. All the nicknames for my name are actually pretty lame. Like Al. When driving, do I listen to blah, 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 blah. I do not, actually. I listen to my Bluetooth with my phone that connects to my phone library. Are you an aisle person or a window person? So I'm actually more of a window person because I like to see everything outside and it kind of like distracts me from like things around me and I get anxious so distractions are good. But I can appreciate how an aisle seat is more advantageous in a potential homicidal situation. Mm -hmm. How do I relieve stress? Trick question. I do not. I let it eat me alive instead. My favorite childhood TV show, I use the word favorite lightly, but my favorite is Invader Zim. When I was a kid, I actually wanted to be a spy, but then I also wanted to be famous and still do. So it is safe to say a famous spy would be ideal. That would kind of fit all brackets of what I wanted and still would be pretty chill with. <laughs> None. If I could have dinner with any three people ever, the three people I would choose um, would be three YouTubers who are currently, why am I clapping? <laughs> would be three active YouTubers that I would love to meet. One, Jesse Page, who I adore. Two, Mickey, as in Glamangor, who I aspire to be as talented as, but never will be. And th I think I'm counting wrong, but this is just what it is. And three, <laughs> Kylie the jellyfish, who subbed to me, and I almost fainted because that was just a really precious moment in my life. That would be a lovely dinner. I'd probably be too nervous to eat, but if you could get back any article of clothing that you once wore, what would it be? Hmm. My hella stellar groovy Elvis Presley one piece, which I can admit to wearing on the first Friday of every month in first grade. It was just a Halloween costume, but it became a huge part of my life. I lost it and I have no idea where it is, but I couldn't fit into it anyway. But if I could at least have it back and keep it as a shrine, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, me. This could be my big break. If I could play any instrument, which would I play? Hmm. That's a great question. Played flute, clarinet, and I have dabbled a little bit with guitar and I used to play piano. And the two that I would want to be able to play still currently would be guitar and piano because then I could start singing with it. I would try something probably different. So maybe a percussion instrument. That would be kind of cool, like a xylophone. So believe it or not, this question is actually the one that I spent the most time thinking of an answer for because I didn't want it to be a question of who I would be if a fictional character came to life. I wanted it to be a question of if you could bring any fictional character to life, what could it be? So that way like they could do fun things for me and they could be my buddy and like guide me and like be awesome. So I decided to go with Sailor Pluto. Her ability to freeze time would come really handy during finals and just about any other time that I'm late, which is most of the time. So we would be really chill. When you were a kid, what did you dress up as for Halloween? This question is not specific enough. I object. <laughs> just kidding. I was a vampire once. Um, I was Woody from Toy Story one year, a demon another. I was also Timmy Turner once, and also, where's Waldo? It used to be closed because I used to think that I saw faces in my closet and that they were the big bad wolf and he was aiming to devour me at night once I fell asleep. But then when I got Finnick, 
I had no other place to put his litter box except for in the closet. So I shoved that in into the corner of my closet where the litter is as far away from my clothes so I don't get E. coli as possible. And now it's open for him so he can get to it. We all have to make sacrifices. If you could be any cartoon character, this is like one of my main dreams. I would probably narrow this down to Peter Pan because we embody the same life morals or Danny Phantom because he's pretty fine and he's got a pretty cool life as a phantom. I could be either of those and be really content. Once again, I'm really sorry for my indecisivity, indecisiveness. Yes, and I regret nothing. No, did most people like do that? This question really gets to me because I hate when I'm sleeping on the side of somebody and they untuck the sheets. I hate that, I hate that, I really hate that. I'm all the way tucked in all the time. It just makes it so much harder to make the bed and I can't like sleep when everything's all messy and like discompopulated. I think this question will yield a no. I don't really like my smile very much. It's not the worst, but I think I prefer it like versus But no. Have you peed in the woods? Yes. Who hasn't peed in the woods? Anybody? Please comment below if you haven't peed in the woods. I'm interested. What size is my bed? Oh, okay. Um, my bed is double. Double sized. Or full. I'm not really sure. Double or full? I think double. I think those are also the same. The song of my week is Pink Skies by Lonnie. Do I still watch cartoons? Yeah, basically most of what I watch. When was the last time you wrote a letter to somebody on paper? The last time I engaged in this ancient activity was probably six years ago and I was in the hospital at the time. Otherwise I never would have. How many languages can I speak in? I can speak in 11 minus 10. I don't wanna say no, but no. I'm not really a concert guy. I've only been to four of them, but I think the first one I went to was actually NSYNC's Pop Odyssey tour. Cheetos or Fritos? Neither. Ever want a spelling bee? Well, yes, sort of. My team won, which I was the captain of, and I was third in the individual round. My team was first, so I'm gonna call that. No, but record players are pretty cool, so I'm not judging you. Who would you like to see in concert? Uh, concerts, like I said, not my thing. I have a lot of anxiety about them. Also, when there are crowds of people around and they're paying attention to someone other than me, I have a hard time with that. And I know that's very toddler-esque of me, but I just never got over that stage of my life. Sugar cookies or snickerdoodles? Only under the circumstances where they are not made with any animal byproducts and they are strawberry frosted, my answer would be a sugar cookie. Otherwise, I wouldn't eat either of those. Are you patient? I'm not, but I am but mostly not. No, and yes, I'm upset about it. Do you want kids? Um, I sort of feel like I sort of, still sort of am a sort of kid. That kind of makes me feel very undecided about this question. I was under the impression I would have found Neverland by now, but I'm still here, so. That's all right, because at least I still have you guys. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Click the bell next to my subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. And most importantly, always keep it crunchy.